Hey Thriver, welcome back to the Career Thrivers podcast, where we aren't just barely surviving, but we are boldly thriving in our career as leaders. I'm your host, Brittany Cole, and today we are going to discuss a pivotal topic that often gets overlooked when we're talking with leaders about how to really hone your career and get to that next level. And that's focusing in on your strengths to thrive as a leader. Now, what do we mean by strengths? Let's define strengths first. So where you are in your career as a mid-career leader, as an emerging leader, as a senior leader even, there are some things that you do really, really well. So strengths aren't just things that we are good at, but they're also those activities that really energize us where we're naturally drawn to them and we can produce consistent results with ease and with excellence. Now, when you think about your strengths, I want you to think about your strengths comprehensively, utilizing this framework that we use at Career Thrivers, which is called your visa. So if you have a sheet of paper or if you're taking notes on your phone, just jot down VISA. I'm going to walk you through this quickly. And this is something that has stuck with me for I'll just say over 20 years, a very long time. <laughs> it's actually a framework that I learned while I was in Inroads. Inroads, if you aren't familiar, is a career and leadership development organization that has been doing diversity, equity, and inclusion work for over 50 years now. And this visa framework was something that they taught us in our Saturday LDI sessions, Leadership Development Institute sessions, when I was, oh my gosh, a high school student, like before. Or I may, I may have been in college, but I did the pre-college and the college. And so we learned this visa and I want to share it with you. All right, you ready? You got something to write with? I was trying to give you some time to, to get your resources together. All right. So the first segment, segment of your visa, the V of your visa is your values. Okay. And so when you think about your values, I want you to think about not only your organizational values, like, you know, those, those are on the website. I'm asking you, what are your personal values? values? What are those non-negotiables in your life? Those areas by which you leverage to make hard decisions, right? When you think about what are the values, what are the things that I think about that I consider when I get to that crossroads moment in my life and my career? Those are your values. A phenomenal resource to help you dig deeper into what are your personal values is a book called Dare to Lead by Brene Brown. She has an exceptional values defining exercise inside of that book. You want to check that out. Now, the eye of your visa is your interest. All right. So I stands for interests. And you want to think about what are those areas where I'm naturally curious Think about the podcast that you listen to, the magazines or the books that you read, or the topics that you throw into your internet search browser, right? You want to identify in the context of your personal and professional life, which by the way, are the same thing, right? You want to identify what are those things that you're naturally curious about. And I say that because there could be areas in what you're considering to be your personal life that are areas of interest, points of curiosity for you that you can actually leverage inside of your organization to do more of the work that inspires you, that fulfills you. That certainly um, is part of my story when I spent almost 12 years at Pfizer and I got to a place where I'm like, you know what? I'm really interested in creating more inclusive teams, helping leaders to lead everyone. And so I brought those interests that I was doing on the side after my nine to five into my everyday work life. And you can do the same. Hey Thriver, have you ever had that feeling like you're doing all of the things, but you're still in the same place? If you're ready to unleash your full potential and to move beyond feeling stuck, stagnant, overlooked, and overwhelmed, you're in the right place. I have an exciting tool for you called the Own Your Power Checklist, and it's the ultimate guide to helping you to own your personal power to thrive as a leader. Now, this checklist is gonna help you to do four things. Number one, it's gonna help you to own your unique personal power and to really weld it. It's gonna help you to embrace your authenticity, to develop self-awareness, to take ownership and hold yourself accountable. And then lastly, how to trust your instincts and turn those obstacles into opportunities. I'm so excited for you to cultivate an authentic personal brand and remain resilient without it costing you your well being. Why? Well, because now is the time. Now is the time for you to move beyond the barriers and to create new opportunities. Now is the time for you to stop being passed over and to start being recommended in rooms that you're not even in. Now is the time for you to stop feeling stuck and stagnant and to align your strengths to accelerate your growth. 
now is the time for you to step into the leader that you were always meant to be. So don't miss out on this opportunity. Click the link to download the Own Your Power checklist now. Take the next step towards owning your personal power and thriving as a leader. Get your checklist today at careerthrivers.com forward slash podcast. It's your time to thrive. Guess what the S is? Of course, it's your strengths, right? And that's what we're talking about today on this episode. So again, what are those areas that you do with not only excellence, but also with ease, right? In a faith context, you may think about this as your gifts, right? But you want to think about those areas that put you in your zone of excellence, right? Those are your strengths. And then finally, the A of your visa stands for your abilities. And you want to think about your abilities as those competencies that you have developed over time. So what are those areas where you've been putting in the reps, you've been getting better over time? They could be technical skills, they could be what we call not soft, but your power skills, right? What are those competencies and capabilities that you've learned to do really well? Those are your abilities. And this set, this framework, right, is really where career thriving happens. So again, we leverage this visa framework as a foundational point for professional career and leadership development because it really helps you hone in on, okay, how do I get more clarity on what's next in my career? I got to know my values, got to know my interests, double down on those strengths, and then I have to know my abilities. All right. So let's talk for a little bit about the importance of recognizing strengths. Okay. So recognizing our strengths and really investing in them help us to be more fulfilled, more productive, and more energized and engaged in our work. And you might think, okay, well, why is that? And that's because we're operating again from that zone of genius, right? That strength zone helps us to be more productive, helps us to work um, even with more efficiency, right? So you want to really focus in on what are my strengths? So if you're asking yourself that question, let's think about some ways to identify your strengths. So you want to think about what comes naturally to me, right? What activities really energize me? Where do I feel like I'm at my best? Or when I feel like I'm at my best, what am I doing, right? Reflect on these questions. And when you do that, you're going to be on the path of discovering your unique strengths. Another way to help you to discover your strengths after you do that introspection is to get some feedback, right? So asking people that you've worked with, current and former people leaders, right? What are those areas of strength that they identify in you as a leader? So leaning into these strengths, again, it's going to give you that confidence, but not only confidence because you're doing something with excellence, it's also going to give you the confidence to lead authentically, right? It's going to help you to set a vision. If you're a people leader, it's going to help you to inspire your team. And most importantly, it's going to help you as a leader to lead by example. So at Career Thrivers, we have these levels of leadership that we build learning and development curriculum around. So when we're working with a corporation on how do you develop your emerging leaders? leaders? How do you help your senior leaders get to the next level? We design learning strategies around different levels of leadership. So thinking about leading self, leading teams, leading leaders, and then leading the organizations, right? And then looking at the competencies within each one. And at every level, strengths or knowing those strengths is an important area to focus on to really get to accelerating and advancing your career. So when we think about as a leader, right? How can you help your team, right? So you may be thinking, okay, Brittany, I'm good on my strengths, but what about my team, right? As a leader, your role isn't just to use your strengths, but to also help your team members to identify and leverage their strengths, right? So it's about recognizing each team member's unique strengths. And then as you recognize them as the leader, positioning them where they can do what they do best every single day. And here's the catch, even if it isn't on your team, right? Because as leaders, right, we know that our role is to develop more leaders. And so when I think about a case study, a real life example of someone that I believe just really has a handle on their strengths. I think about Valicia Butterfield Jones. I've known of her for a while and I've had the opportunity to be in close proximity to her through the pandemic, through her masterclass. And you can see throughout her career how she has leveraged her strengths in creating strategic partnerships and advocating for diversity and inclusion inside of the recording academy known as the Grammys, and now being back at Google leading partnerships at that organization 
organization and really helping to transform organizations in aligning their business strategies with the value of being more inclusive and equitable inside of the business context. So how can you do that? How can you as a leader focus on your strengths, leverage what you're good at, and regardless of the role or title that you have, which of course to Shonda Brown Duckett always says, hey, those are things that you rent. How do you start to develop your strengths and really have that through line? So it starts with self-reflection, right? You can think about self assessment tools, right? How you can leverage uh, tools like Gallup Strengths to help you uncover what your strengths are, utilizing our visa and our checklist, and again, talking to colleagues. So as we wrap up today, remember, focusing on your strengths doesn't mean that you're ignoring your weaknesses, right? But it's about how can I spend more time in my strength zone? in my zone of excellence to unleash my potential and to really thrive as a leader. And if you're already a people leader, you wanna be thinking about how do I help my team members do that to bring out the best in them, all right? So that's a wrap on today's episode. Remember, lean into your strengths, lead with authenticity, and watch how you and your team thrive. Thank you for joining me today. I'm Brittany Cole, your partner in growth and thriving. And remember, let's thrive together. Until next time, take care.